Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Lone Wolf run where we are trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with a single soldier permission. It's looking uh, okay after a year I would say. We're in year number two now, so month number uh, 13. We just defended our adventure and we're hopefully not being forced to do that again. Gravely wounded soldiers as a result of it. But we also got some ability points out of it, and soon we're going to have an infirmary, which I hope will solve some of our misery. Got some missions here. No. We're not going to do that, we don't have a soldier. Look at that, we got a specialist right here. Charlie Gibson in Alois, that's fine. And we just got the infirmary done, which means shifting over a soldier here. It's exactly what we should do. And we can now also start removing negative traits. You can see immediately the Gravely Wounding has turned down to almost only half of the timing. Not sure if I should put him together on the mission with Roby. They certainly would be a better team in terms of firepower. Most certainly. Yeah, so having him offers us at least an alternative cipher, offers us at least an alternative so we could use Roby plus cipher instead of Sky plus uh, Roby. I'm not yet convinced. I mean, it has advantages whenever we can use uh, the the def defense matrix quite well because uh, the Reaper can obviously scout, right? Um, on the other hand, when that's not possible, you've seen in the last mission how much we struggled. Death from above would be extremely handy. I think we're going to skill that. Oh wow, here's some nice skills. Airway protocol is a must, most certainly. Salvo isn't bad either, but we don't have enough points to accommodate with that. I want to save our points for Hawkbite. Avenger plotting new course. Good, this mon month should be relatively quiet, like there shouldn't be much happening at all. We will counter the Chosen, that's what we're currently doing. The Chosen are doing whatever it takes to slow us down. We need to watch out for their sabotage attempts. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress. That was an important, a very important discovery. Now the Plasma Lance is the next one and I think we can upgrade also a few other items. Assembled as soon as the research is complete. New orders, Commander? 
We definitely need to go for the fusion X soon. I think we got one Elarium core. What did we already did we already have the axe and I just didn't use it? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, we hit the hunter's axe and I didn't use it. Sometimes I just gotta question my atten attention. That's such a good weapon. Which of course means we're going to upgrade it here. Instant. Not even a question. So as for Roby in general, one more blue screen rounds, yes. Mm, I don't think that the overdrive serum would have made much of a uh, ma much of a change there. Hmm. Nah, I don't think that we need it. Not yet. I am considering this here, but then again, we do have Bladestorm and it's really seldom that we are going to be attacked in melee. I'd much rather get another vest, stasis vest for instance, or the armor vest, but all of that costs us Elarium cores, which again we don't have. Or build an exosuit, which would help us as well for more armor. So we gotta find some Elarium cores. Hey, explosives! Uh, that is a pretty decent uh, opportunity for for our Reaper. Sectopod, we could get a Sectopod Corpse, which would be helpful. The other option is we could simply try to get a Facility Lead out of it. Intel is helpful. I think we're going to scan for that next. Uh, I think we need the gatekeeper still. So as for the mission, are we going to go for Intel or are we going to... Well, the Reaper is still wounded, so we're instead going in for Intel. Cypher here has the right loadout. We're going to go with the Skulljack. And we're simply trying to to hack one of them. For the, the high explosives would have been nice, but not necessary. If we don't have the Reaper, then it doesn't matter anyways. Okay. There we go. God, what would I give for an entire team of soldiers? It would be so simple, even with only four soldiers, to do that mission here. Easy. 
And there we go. Alright, careful as always. Let's see and hear where everything is coming from. Certainly not a pack that I would want to fight and or interact with because they don't have intel. We're looking for any advent that could help us. Good. Switching sides a little bit, just to broadly avoid them. Headed there now. Got eyes on a hostile squad. Okay, that's our target. That's by the way typical XCOM. Okay, so a sector port obviously runs through some of the cr uh, crates. You have seen that from the shaking on the ground. And Bradford tells me that we have to be careful not to fuck up the crates. Thank you. He's such a fool from time to time. We indeed need an EVIC right there. Well, surprise, surprise. Well, that stinks. I wanted to have a facility lead, not Intel. But we're taking the small portion of Intel. Ah, not even that worked. And that is when all hell broke loose. Yeah, all right, keep it going, guys. Ready to See you later. Like always, we failed. But I know we had a sound plan. And there we go, wounded for five days. But that's okay, we had our chance to essentially grab some loot. Avenger plotting new course. I would have loved to have the facility lead, but Intel would have been good as well. Advanced Purifier and Andromedon, so I assume we're going to fight two Andromedons, one Advanced Purifier. And there we go.
So that should be a relatively trivial mission. I'm, I'm just trying to to somewhat get us through that uh, with high speed. I don't expect that anything bad is going to happen. Enemy is dropping in. As always, a captain and two troopers. Well, hello there. Nice little shot. All right, pretty good. Dactanoxus unfortunately fails to hit. This here might kill two for one. Almost. Could have just shifted over an action instead of taking the shot with uh, Dark Tower. That way we wouldn't now need to get one uh, one shot in from, from this trooper. So could have played that more safe. But since the trooper also messed up and just ran into our blade storm, kind of uh, evens itself out. Okay, easy enough with a loss, you really shouldn't have much of a problem. Hello there. Beautiful. It's even coming closer so we can hit it. Good. Let's go. Three to six. That's one in, uh, secured kill. And time to engage the Andromedon. Perry. Alright. All of those, the loss, are essentially dead through uh, due to Blaze Storm. This is going to be a parry. There you go. You know, Edgar Alien Poe, uh, Dr. Onoxo, sorry, at this point, might as well just use his pistol. Because here's the deal like, his pistol. Okay, so I got one. 
wouldn't have uh, needed to be lightning hands by the way his pistol is as strong as his sniper rifle because the sniper rifle is still the non-upgraded version whilst well, his pistol is a plasma pistol Templar shows again why he is incredibly strong in a one, one versus one. Yeah, see? Pistol even deals more damage. <laughs> All right, there we go. One more Andromedon and one more Purifier, and we're done with the mission. Hogbite moves in aggressively. But continues to move in aggressively. Ooh, look at that. All right, fair enough. This here is a kill, even if he would have exploded, wouldn't have really meant a lot. Parry. Time for teamwork, because I want to finish the Andromedon off as soon as possible. So we got two per uh, we got two parries going, <laughs> which is interesting. The explosion explosion doesn't mean anything to us. Yeah, maybe I just got to take the Templar onto the mission to defend the adventure. I mean, he's he's showing a convincing performance here. Good. Keeping, keeping on our movement. The Andromedon now is almost dead. Next turn we can kill it and then we can simply move out of here. And there we go. We didn't even need ghosts or anything. The Templar simply shredded through all of them. Ten 
Hogbite is going to be a machine, but don't be fooled yet. Like, this is a solo fight. That's where the Templar excels, like against one or two. S a, s a small group of enemies, skirmishes. It won't be that easy in a larger battle. And there we go. Nice little Alarium Crystals. That will help us to get more. All right, this one here is a perfect mission for both of them. Eight days. Let's directly start. I like the idea of a psionic lab. Maybe we should give it a try. Wouldn't cost us any energy because it's on a shielded power um, core. And what else do we need to build? Probably nothing at the moment. Resistance communications, we were not expanding. I'll leave this one open just in case. Good. Scanning on. Let's get some days going. Negative traits are removed, that's good. Guess who needs a lot of negative traits removed? Exactly, Roby. So, the last, we see all enemy movement, 25 enemies, that's a lot. Well, the hunter already has full knowledge. We might want to do it to gain a facility lead. Yeah, we should be fine. Destroying an alien relay essentially only means that we can we need to evac fast. The only thing that we should be careful about is protecting civilians because these missions are not evacable. And that would mean we're losing a soldier. And here we go. The communications relay is up ahead. Loss, loss, loss. Uh, this here could be a target for us. Lost, lost, lost. This here could be a target for us. And here are targets for us. I think the best one is probably the shield bearer. Alright. Moving all the way up to here. Doesn't trigger anyone. By the way, this... Is this here could have been even a mission that we could have won completely? Uh, 
There are so many remote start options here. I think that it would have been possible. Not sure about the sector pot, but we do have banish, so we could have at least killed it once the others are down. Yeah, that is bad. We can't evac from underneath the bridge. Common mistake. Don't want to do that. Headed there now. We're overwatching and just keeping it as is. We need this guy here to come closer into the open so that I can evac. By the way, Advent's complete disregard of where to move with the sector pod is phenomenal. I absolutely adore it. Like this guy here runs through the middle of a bar. Just, just let that thing in for a second. So they're effectively letting their combat unit, this maximum massive mech, just run through a normal bar. I'm just wondering about the average damage that all of that is causing. And who's going to pay for it? Like, what would the bar owner uh, say? Uh, why can't we skull mine him? Should be possible. He is an advent. Okay, so the only the only advent which we obviously can uh school mine is back here and that's not gonna fly. So we're giving ourselves eight protocol because I think they will come up. For threat assessment and overwatch, that might uh, at least give us a kill. Elsewise we're going to evacuate next turn. Pretty sure we're now going to be spotted out. In the background you can hear the screaming barkeeper like, what the fuck? Although we're in a, an area of lost, so probably nothing no one is um, currently operating a bar here. It's probably the abandoned part. See, there we go. Spotted out, as always. And of course, the lost move first. I'm I'm getting hit and can't even do anything against it. This is so ridiculous from time to time. Well, all of a sudden the school mine works, right? But of course, now, we're no longer able to place um, an evac zone. I would say, as always, thank you, XCOM, that I got xcom I could have just... Just school mind him. But no. I'm 
I would say that was the opposite of a success. Learnings, if they are down there and you can't see them properly, then you cannot schooljack them. That was the real problem. I shouldn't have been positioned up there. He wasn't able to see him and thus he couldn't school by school by him. <laughs> He did his best. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. Three days of wounding, no loot, and a dark event, which is figuratively and literally irrelevant for us. Avenger plotting new course. Nice, 211 Alarium Crystals. May I just shortly remind us we just get 200 plus Alarium Crystals? That is awesome. Of course, the Avatar Project just gets a little tick before we take off too. Okay, need another short mission. We're looking at what? Three, four days? Three days, okay. That one here would be okay. That wouldn't be bad either. I mean, the facility lead is okay. Scientist is really good, but 12 days are it's a bit too long. The intel here isn't bad either. What's the shortest one? High wounding chance, moderate wounding chance. You know, it takes five days, so Why not? And it doesn't have any risks. It's just simply 50 intel and a bit of willpower. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. Is the black market still closed? I think we had the dark event that closes the black market for a while. Yeah. Seems very much as if it would be still closed. Where are the dark events? Well, it was a successful month overall. I think we did well. And with the finalization of the plasma lens, as well as the Templars. Um, oh, by the way, Templar, yeah. I, I looked that up online, um, matter of fact, today, because I wanted to see if the Templar Gauntlet can get a damage increase. Funnily enough, the Templar Gauntlet, as well as uh, the Granite Launcher are the only weapons who cannot get a damage increase. However, his pistol can get a damage increase. And yeah, why not? I mean, it's free damage, so you're never you're never saying no to free damage. In terms of weapons upgrade, this here is the Reaper upgrade, which I really, really want to have. The other one takes more supplies, sharpshooter, plasma lance, 
and beam cannon. But we can get that by selling alien alloys if we really would want it to do it. I think we're fine on this one. Guerrilla Tactics School. Yeah. Anyways, I think we're cutting it uh, short here. We're already 40 minutes in. Again, thank you so much for watching. It was a pleasure. This was month number 13, and we're now continuing on with uh, month number 14, effectively. Uh, overall, I would say we have had our ups and downs. We still have two major problems to solve. One being the Avatar project. I think with the new resistance order, that should become less and less of a problem. Also, we do have facility leads in case uh, things are really going to get out of hand. Second topic are the uh, chosen ones, and that is a bit more su uh, touchy subject. I, in hindsight, have made a huge mistake in triggering the second chosen, because now we're going to permanently be bothered by two uh, chosens, and in this entire run I don't see an option of uh, how we could actually kill a chosen with a single soldier. Number one, I informed myself, um, uh, theoretically the double agent can proc in the chosen stronghold, but the double agent is not allowed to go into the final chosen chamber. The problem with the final chosen chamber and the sarcophagus is um, that this entire fight gets exponentially more difficult the less actions you do have in between killing the Chosen. So say the Sarcophagus has, has 60 hit points. If you go there with laser weapons and uh, six men uh, sword, which is kind of the benchmark how you should do it, and you kill the Chosen and you still have five more shots um, for the Sarcophagus and then next round six more shots for the Sarcophagus. If you do everything right, it's kind of 11 shots. The thing just goes down and you sort of finish it. Okay, um, now project that with four people, which I did in the Ballistic uh, Better Strike uh, version. All of a sudden you already had to go through the Chosen like twice and it was pretty, pretty tough. Then I did the two men run, uh, so army of two, and you had to go through the Chosen between four and five times. Simply because whenever you killed the Chosen, you only had like one, uh, sometimes only one round, but often uh, one and a half rounds uh, left to, to deal damage. You needed to reload and so on and so forth. So it wasn't a given that you just simply deal enough damage to kill the Sarcophag uh, automatically. Now the problem specifically is if you're going in with one person. That one person kills the Chosen. Not just randomly, but it kills it in one round. And unless you have a hair trigger proc or a death from above um, or a specific circumstance, serial, that allows you to continue shooting, effectively the first out of two rounds of killing the Sarcophagus is already gone. And that leaves you with exactly one round of shooting the Sarcophagus. The class that is by far the best in killing the Chosen, however, has the weakest fucking pistol in the entire game. Not even kidding. Um, so the Templar deals 3 to 6 points of damage. 4 to 7 now that we got the upgrade. And if I get the Plasma tier upgrade, um, 5 to 8. Okay, 5 to 8 damage. That's like, what, 6 damage on average? If you need to um, kill the Sarcophagus, you either have Lightning Hands and uh, Quick Draw, uh, which allows you 3 shots, or in our case, where we don't have that, you got to go 10 times through the Chosen. Mind you, a Chosen with 60 plus hit points, 4 armor, uh, the ability to summon, and two additional enemies every single time that, uh, that it dies. I have really intensively thought about how we could get rid of the Chosen, and I don't have an idea. I, I even got as far as the following. There are certain, I wouldn't call it abuses, but gray lines um, in terms of what is possible. For instance, the um, Templar Stun Strike, uh, which is a maneuver that... Um, that allows you to push an enemy like one field back 
if you are using that and push a chosen into an opening uh, you can push it off of the map the chosen will immediately die and that doesn't even end your turn so i was even as crazy as to say you know what f it with stun strike i could maybe go through a few iterations but the thing is again i would probably need to load a completely different save file and test it a few times just like Kriparian had tested his Diablo uh, 3 hardcore runs on a softcore character before I would attempt that because I would need to find like a spot where the AI reliably fucks up and moves to the um, corner of the map so that I can push it off of the corner of the map. Now that would be one opportunity that I could see. Like I was, I went to the level of desperation that is needed to come up with such a very very exotic plan let's put it this way i did my research and i really looked into the topic but i think at the point in time here unless i come to a better idea for now i just don't see how we can uh, finish the shows and the good news is they're already fully developed they don't get stronger than that it's kind of their end state but yeah i mean you've seen how much havoc uh, they can uh, they can wreak it is it is a challenge anyways that was my rant for uh, for end of month number 14 i hope you <laughs> found some useful information in the meta uh, thinking behind the campaign and how i and how i approach uh, the topic um elsewise as always thank you for watching had a blast um, let's crush the next month if you liked what you've seen hit the subscribe button and or leave a comment down below. See you all in the next mission. Take care. Bye-bye.